welcome back to channel guys welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm gonna cover different topics so before that i want to share one thing that right now we were expecting ios 46.2 beta 4 but for now the update is not out yet which means it might not come today it might gonna come tomorrow on tuesday this is a very important thing that i want to share along with that i want to talk about few different things regarding ios 26.1.1 and also about the iOS 26.1. So, so far we know we are not happy the way iOS 26.1 is going on. And every other person want to see another update. And I got so many questions from your side that we will be getting iOS 26.1.1. And will that update will come out and will fix all those issues. So, I want to address this main question that I'm getting from your side. So importantly, important thing to understand that I don't believe that iOS 26.1.1 is going to come now because this week we are expecting 26.2 beta 4. Next week we will be getting RC update hopefully and after week after that week we will be getting the public release which means in two weeks we will be without like with iOS 26.2. So if the iOS 26.2 is so close why apple will release 26.1.1 so this is important thing to understand which means we think we are not going to get 26.1.1 26.2 is going to be the next update now you may be not happy about this like you maybe have to wait for another week to fix these stupid lags but this is the reality like we are not getting the update anytime soon we at least have to wait for two weeks to get you know the actual release so this is what it is anyways now i want to focus on how 26.1 is going on and this is going to be kind of a long-term review because i'm using 26.1 on this device for a while now and i want to share battery life and i also want to talk about the performance so if i talk about the um, battery life i will get into the battery sections um let the battery stats load over here into the battery usage so this is not my main device i still use this device but again this is not my main device so as you can see on this day i used my device around 65 percent and i got almost five hours of screen on time now during this time i use different applications like tiktok netflix youtube setting app and on the other day i used around 60 percent and got four hours and 21 minutes screen on time again quite active on netflix and some other applications as you can see now on this day i use around 59 percent but a very less screen on time mainly i was using camera app as you can see today i use around 46 percent and three hours of screen on time during which i use different applications over here as you can see now if i conclude the battery life of 26.1 it's a decent battery life um it's not that bad because many people were saying there's a lot of battery trading happening I don't face battery draining issue on 26.1. It's a it's a decent battery life, but believe me, 26.2 is way better. 26.2 is amazing in terms of every other thing. So that is a good sign. So after this video, hopefully I'm gonna install 26.2 on this device, the public beta, and I'm gonna share my experience in upcoming videos. But yeah, 26.2 is much better in every other thing. Now, if I talk about the Geekman score of 46.1, um, in performance, we still have this weird lag that everyone hates. Also, this lag over here, every other person hates this lag. So, you know, I'm going to start 46.2 public beta. After this video, I'm going to share if that is fixed on older iPhones. But definitely, it is fixed on the newer iPhones because on this device I am running, that was 26.2. Um, so, yeah, performance is laggy but give the scores are decent honestly like i ran this score today got 1782 on a single core 3951 on a multi-core both scores are higher than the average one i also ran the gpu benchmark as you can see 14 160 what is like way higher than the average one so that is nice so on paper scores are decent but in terms of usage there are lags here and there which i actually hate which everyone is hating at the moment no matter even if you're using iPhone 17, 
this lag is still over there, which is really, really bad thing. So I really want Apple to fix these things. I'm definitely, they were supposed to fix these things with 26.1.1, but 26.1.1 is not coming. 26.2 is going to be the next update. And on the 26.2 beta 1, these lags were still there, but on the beta 2, they fix all the lags. So if you are worrying about the lag, they're not enjoying the performance overall on your device because 26.1 is the official release available for now. Just wait for two weeks. I know it's not an ideal thing, but you have to wait. You have to wait for the test two weeks. You will get iOS 26.2 and it will be fixing all these things. Well, this is all from this short and simple video. I hope to get you guys in my next video. Till then, take care. Peace out.